Damn it, we're gonna run out of time! Welcome back to the Oaki Show for episode three of the franchise mode where we are in control of the Toronto Maple Leafs. Now, we are currently just two-ish weeks away from the trade deadline, and we are currently looking for who we need to add to our Toronto Maple Leafs roster. So, as of right now, on our trade targeted list, We've got Jonathan Drouin, who's got a lot of goals this year for the uh, the Montreal Canadiens, so be on the lookout for that guy. Tyler Toffoli, as well, is a big trade target of ours. 87 overall, only $4 million is what he's being paid for two more years, so we can use him for a couple years. Uh, offense is just where we're trying to pick up, even though we're really good at goal scoring. Defense, we're fine. Goaltending, we're actually pretty solid. Samsonov and Net six shutouts this year, 921, 2.22. Great numbers from Ilya Samsonov. And the biggest news is Mitch Marner is our number one guy and leads the league in goal scoring. So, absolutely huge for him. Matthew Nyes, kind of wish we could do more with him. Kerfoot's kind of having an okay year, six set, nine, like, you know, like some pretty standard numbers for these guys. David Camp is someone that we could probably offload eventually if we need, a, like, a sweetener to a deal. But that's what we're looking for right now. Um, other than that, my main look at is trying to make a really good third so line. I'm, I'm the Flames are a current like big tr tr priority area, right? Because they've got Tyler Toffoli and they've also got Mackenzie Weger. So yeah, Chris Tanev is also someone we could maybe go for try to boost defense. But defensively, I just don't think we really need help unless a guy like, really jumps out, and it's like, whoa, we can get this guy? Um, so yeah, that's kind of the basis that I'm talking about right now. So, for me, Tyler Toffoli is priority number one, and I kind of like to pick him up sooner than later. So, my only issue is I don't know who to give up to get this guy, because money-wise... So, like, Jake Muzzin is, like, my guy I, I'm, like, I could say we could easily get rid of. But if we do that, so we do, like, Muzzin, so Calgary will be over, right? So we have to give Calgary off some money. So I'm still thinking maybe we do, like, the two two for one deal. Well, not two for one, but we go for more than one guy from this team. So we could go with Mackenzie Weger or Tanev. I'd rather go with Weger because he signed for a lot longer and for really not that bad money. But then we need to give up someone of our own. So do we go with a guy like Niemela? Maybe, but then we still got a lot of value that still needs to be sweetened up the deal. So to me, it's like, to, to, would that even work really? I mean, I guess it would. So do we give them like a first round pick? So it's like a first round for those two guys later. So here we go. We're going to move up to the week of the trade deadline. Let's see here. Niemela. No, no, we're not going to do that. No way. Okay, we lost to Chicago last. Connor Timmins. No, we. I'd rather have a higher pick than that. That's ridiculous. Why in the world would we even do that? Um, okay, we lost to Montreal, and we beat Chicago. So, once again, just can't pick a way to win or lose. Uh, okay, we won in overtime. Come on, Minnesota. Take them down. Nice. Oh, William Nyland Nylander's back? He's back! <laughs> Amazing, who's just an absolute. I mean, look at this 24 goals, 16 assists for us. He's an absolute terror. Okay, so I think we're good with where we're at. I like Radish being on that the second line, he, he brings a power to that second line. And now that we're back to full strength, we're back in it. Luke Shen hasn't played a game this year. Um, cool. Let oh, McCabe finally scored a goal. Okay, so cool, we're back at it week of the whatever and we lost to seattle so 
before we go any further, I want to make sure that things haven't gone too astray, right? Josh Norris would be really good, because if we got him, we could use him for the future of when we get rid of Ryan O'Reilly. Yeah, I, I just, I think that's the big move, because then we would have that third line center that I really want. And then he's got, we got him signed for the future as well. So I think we're just going to go a day at a time. So day at a time, here we go. Moving up. Come on, beat the Oilers. John Voigt. We beat the Oilers. Beat the, the, the Flames. Come on. Beat the Flames. Okay, so next, tomorrow is the trade deadline. So this is it. This is it right here. We're tied for first. We're way, I mean, the standings are all so close. You see that? 78, 78, 78, 77, 81, 81, 78. Everyone's up there in the standings. It all is a difference of just three points or less. Wow. Okay, so this is it. This is it. This is the last big scouting report. So our big targets right now. So we got Jerwin to Foley, uh, um, What's it? Uh, maybe Uyghur. Josh Norris. And who do we want to get rid of? Because Luke Shen hasn't played a game. We can get rid of Jake Muzzin. Or maybe we keep Muzzin for one last little while. Maybe we keep the 84 overall. I know we need to probably improve our defense. I mean, where do we rank in the standings of defense? By the way, Mitch Marner, probably still on top of the league. 93 overall now. He's gone up by an overall. Matthews at 73, just absolutely destroying the league. Okay, so, yep, set, McKinnon is, uh, this is number two. Then Kucherov, then Matthews. Matthews in a three-way tie with McDavid. Mitch Marner leading the way. Hopefully, he can hang on to that. Can't be disappointed with that with those guys, but goals, once again, Joanne is not in the top 10 anymore. Maybe he slowed down. I think maybe he slowed down, so maybe we don't for go for a Jonathan Joanne. Look at that. Radish is up there. Yeah, I'm Taylor Radish is a star. But do we go with Jonathan Drouin? He's only gotten four minutes in penalties. And I don't know if he's happy with where he's at, but what I do know is that he plays not a lot of minutes, so maybe if he does on our third line, he won't be that mad. Jonathan Drouin, that's the way to go. We're going to go for him. Let's do it. Okay, okay, that's who our target is. Ta our targets are Norris. But what do we, okay, what are we willing to trade away, though? Because defensively, we've got too many guys, right? Let's just take a look at our contracts here so we can see all of them. Okay, defenseman. So we've got, so with 88, oh, oh, okay, it's already there. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 8. We've got 8 defensemen that are all above 80 overall. What about on the in the system? Okay, so Victor Mete, okay, so that's fine. So we've got 8. So that's, I, I think, 1, but then we can give Connor Timmons an opportunity. So who of these guys would be we willing to get rid of? Luke Shen, like, I mean, we could get rid of him if he's got any value, but I don't, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. For the future, if we can move out a guy, if we can move out TJ Brody, I know he's the guy that I hate, but he's got a plus 28, 5 goals, 6, 6, 16 assists. How could you convince me to get rid of him? I, you couldn't. Giordano, he's just paid too little that it doesn't matter. So it's really between Jake Muzzin and TJ Brody. And Muzzin's got three assists in 25 games. But defensively, he's a minus four. 
it's Jake Muzzin. It's Jake Muzzin all the way. So Muzzin's money is what's going to be gone. So Muzzin is the money, but we it, we don't have a lot of cap space. So what do we do, folks? <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm at a loss. Taylor Radish was paid nothing, so it wasn't hard to get him onto the team. But we've got, like, no money. Matt Murray. I keep forgetting about Matt Murray. Who could we move out Matt Murray for? Because he, he's not going to have a lot of... Um, Well, he's actually got a little 80. How is he an 84 overall? He's gone up an overall? His numbers aren't actually that bad. Yeah, but for the playoffs, we really don't need him. You know, like, we don't need him in net. Unless. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, we don't need him. We don't. Okay, so Murray, that's a lot of money we can move out, and that's mo money for next year as well. So, Murray. We can get rid of. So Matt Murray and Jake Muzzin. Those Here we go. We're entering the trade deadline, folks. This is it. We're a buyer. We're absolutely a buyer. Enter the trade deadline. This is it. Here we go. Let's bring home the blue and white. What? Roman Yossi is available. Holy crap. Things have just changed. Out of nowhere, what do we need to do to get R Roman Yossi? He was not on the board one second ago. Woo! Woo! Six! Okay! Oh, buddy! We need better defense, right? We need better... Roman Yossi! Wait, no, trade alert. Please don't say it's Roman Yossi. It's not. Okay. Okay, we got to get on the move. Josh Norris is off the board. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, um... Okay, 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 okay. Oh, okay, what do we get rid of? What do we get rid of? I don't know! Okay, Jake Muzzin. Uh, we need the money. The money's the big thing that we need to get rid of. So Jake Muzzin and, um... Uh, uh, and Murray. Murray's the money. Murray, Matt Murray, and him is the money. That is the... Show me the money! Okay, that clears enough cap space. Trade alert. No, don't tell me trade alert. Justin Schultz. Okay, not him. Not him. It's okay. It's okay. Think clearly. Oh, they don't want first round picks. What do I want? They want some big names. Okay, we could do Niemela. What if we did Niemela and Kerfoot? That's not going to be enough. That's not going to work. It's not going to work. There's no way. There's no way. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about Yossi. Don't worry about him. You got till 12 o'clock. If you didn't know, just saying. If somehow on the first video, you don't know anything about it. We got till 12. So it's 638 right now. Oh, you can't see it. Oh, shoot. Hang on. Hang on. Let me fix this. Let me fix this. There. 641. So that'll be... You know, I'll put myself over here. I know this is confusing. Boom. There. There. At least now I'm out of the way. Okay. So you can see the time now. So, okay. God, oh, okay, okay, calm down. Everything's okay. Um, Josh Norris is out. What is Tate? Okay, so it only goes down to 84. That's not very good. Roman Yossi, how do we? I want Roman Yossi. I want Roman Yossi, but how do we get Roman Yossi? God. No, 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 no! I want Roman Yossi. But what are we gonna be able to give up to get him? Oh, no. Trade alert. Vancouver. It's okay. Okay, okay, okay. So what if we do Jake Muzzin for the money? Murray for the money. And then we do, like... How many first round picks do we okay? So we got like the, these two. Two in the way, way future. Oh no, no, not a trade alert. Gabe Velarde, okay. 
it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. I, you know what? I need to stop. I need to Oh, Drew ends on the market. Spin your wheels, everybody. Let me get this box out of the way. Okay, that was loud. Um. Damn. Okay, okay, okay. Jonathan Drew in. Five. God, there's so much money. Okay, anyone else? Is there anyone else that I haven't noticed yet? Um. Okay, Gabe Velarde, he's off the market. Um. Okay, you know what? I don't like it over here. We're going to move myself back over here. Boom. Just like that. And we're good. Okay, cool. Um, okay, hag. No, get out of here. Ooh, Matthew Phillips. Matthew Phillips. That could be a good pickup. That could be a good pickup. To Foley, back down to an 86. Don't like that. Not a fan. Phillips is a 77. Don't worry about him. Don't worry. Oh, no, the Bruins. Not the Bruins. They got Goligoski. Okay. I uh, Okay, I've been trying all year for this two. These two guys right here. What if we did Uyghur and Toffoli in exchange for Muzzin and Murray? And we did a first round pick? Well, how much money do I need to retain? God. What about Matthew Phillips? How many years is he, is he covered? One. Okay, that's not good. Um, five? No, 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 no. Um, 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 ugh. God! Um. Kadri? No! Um. No, I don't need to Foley. I need him. That could work. Okay, okay. Is Mackenzie Weger the guy I bank on, though? Uh-oh. The Oilers got someone. Oh, they got Justin Hall. <laughs> um. We're almost there. We're a third, a first, a third, and, come on, like, maybe just, like, fill it in with a two, like, a seventh. But is Uyghur our guy? Like, do I bank on him, like, to give up all that? I don't think so. I know, more trade alerts. I don't like it. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign. A sign. Ah, they got Mackenzie Uyghur. And Phillips, oh my god. Okay, okay, we gotta move. Uh, okay, okay, I'm, I'm just searching around now. I'm not, I'm just wasting time. Three hours, well, three hours left. Oh, Yossi's hurt. But for how long? <laughs> like, that's the question. Well, Drouin's been my guy. And Toffoli. But Drouin is... Yossi's so good, though. He's so good. Muzzin. Niemela. And Murray. And... Two first overall picks. There's no way. 
There's no way. I'm never gonna. I'm not gonna get this to work. There's no way. I don't have the money. And he's. It, it, should I get rid of three first round picks? Like then I'll have. I'll never trade those away for anything else again ever. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, guys and gals. This. It just doesn't seem possible. Dr I want Drouin, but I gotta be honest, I've soured on him. He's he's really slowed down on scoring. He was at like 21 goals, and now he's only gotten up to 27. There's no way I can get Yossi. There's, I just can't pull it off. I don't have the, the cap space. I don't have what to trade, to anything to give them for them they want a first line forward in return but i just don't have that to give i i just i just don't see a way i just there's no i there's maybe for a guy like philip deno i can go for him Try to make that, but five years, that's a lot of time left for that contract. Well, Columbus traded. Mm, nothing special. Well, I'm okay. I'm just thinking about it. Drouin is just not wowing me as of late, and he's paid a lot of money. To Foley... I could go for Toffoli, but I, do I need him? I'd rather have Mackenzie Weger and help our defense. But what I really, really want is to make our our bottom guys better. But there's like no one on the market for that. The Bruins got back Joe Thornton. It's been only, what, 37 years. Droanne? Do you need him, though, Owen? You don't. You don't need Jonathan Drouin. I don't know. I, it's 11.15 now. I've done nothing. But we've got no... Kyle Dubas has left me with nothing because he's an idiot. He's left me with nothing to make this team better. Like, Nils Hoaglander, like, that could be interesting. He's only got five goals and one assist. No. 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 No, there's nothing. There's just nothing. Except this team, but they already got Mackenzie Weger, so I forgot about that. I don't know. I don't know what to do. There's nothing to do. Every team I scroll to, there's just nothing. I mean, LA could be a place we could... I mean, I got fake 20 minutes left. I could give one more shot at Roman Yossi, I guess. Roman Yossi. I can't do that. I mean, is Matthew Nyes going to be that great? What if we did Nyes? What if we did Nyes? I got to hurry up and do this. Nyes, Muzzin, Murray, and like a first and a third. But they would have too many players, so I gotta choose someone really quick. God damn it, we're gonna run out of time! And that was it. The trade deadline's complete, and we got nobody.
none of my plans went through. I mean, I kind of didn't have any time to get Josh Norris. That happened right away. He's someone I really think I would have, I liked, would have liked to push for to repl have him be the replacement in the, of the future. Damn. So we got nobody. But you know what? You know what, Leafs Nation? It's okay. Because this team that we've got here is strong. This team with Tavares, Marner, Nylander, Austin Matthews, Ryan freaking O'Reilly, Morgan Riley, Ilya Samsonov. We are a golden team. We don't need anyone else. We've got the radish. We've got the bunting. We've got it all. We've got everything we need to win this Stanley Cup. Sure, we didn't make any moves, but guess what? With our grit, grit don't quit, and we're going all the freaking way to the Stanley Cup Finals. We are not a mockery. We are the Maple Leafs. We are Toronto, and we will win the Stanley Cup, and that is is not a prediction that is a spoiler and that's all i gotta say so if you've made it this far please i'm begging you you leafs nation fan i want you to be leaf and help and put your power to the screen click that subscribe button and let's win the stanley cup if you believe if you believe let's do it thank you for watching this and until next time too sweet have an amazing day, and ta-ta for now.